Hi there. So what have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of things. I have been painting. I have been um, uh, doing exhibitions. I got a couple of awards and I <coughs> I also participated in Texas and Neighbor. It is one of the most prestigious exhibition in the area and one of my work got selected in it. It's a jury exhibition. There were around 350 submissions and 72 were selected. So it was really tough. And the top artists around the area, they submit their work. Uh, I was fortunate um, to, to have my work being selected. It was so exciting. It was just such an amazing experience um, to be with all the exhibiting artists, um, such great art artists around there. Um, and um, I've been conducting a lot of art workshop, art classes recently. Um, on it. If you're on my Facebook page, you would have seen some of the updates coming in. Then <coughs> I've been teaching at the local um, senior care center. I teach art there weekly. Um, it, it, I feel art relaxes us so much and I just wanted to share that um, uh, that feeling of relaxation, the re pleasure of painting with the seniors. I love working with them. I've been working there for a few months now. Um, I think for a f four months or so. And it's been just amazing. So um, that's what has been happening. And most exciting news. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have been working on planning two of my full day workshops. So there is workshop coming on 28th September which is called the journey into heart and the second workshop angels and guides this is based on the techniques or the process which was there in the gift of angels painting there is a video on that I'll attach that video at the end of it so um, one of my student from intuitive uh, introductory class um, she requested if I can do a workshop on that so I decided, okay, I'll do that. Um, now, talking about the Heart into journey, uh, journey, that is a workshop I'm coming in collaboration with another artist, Sharon Giles. She's a wonderful artist. Um, I've learned so much from her, her printmaking techniques and um, watercolor technique, uh, watercolor paintings are just amazing. So I approached her. Um, I had this faint idea that I want to do something um, to raise the energies of people, something to do with affirmations. That was my initial idea. And I didn't know much what I would end up with, but we had been like talking for now two or three months and trying to see what can we do in terms of making it a workshop. So um, I walked, uh, I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through the through my painting techniques and um, we can come up with something which we can do together so I walked her through my intuitive painting techniques and the way I paint is I paint my life story I paint my life story and I every time I paint there is something which happens something positive which happens so there was this time in my life where which was not the greatest time of my life. I was going through a lot of depression. Um, by the way, I am an engineer by education and I used to work in IT. I was an IT project manager and I had a successful career for 12 years. And um, uh, there had been, I had been working and there had been some personal challenges. We had been trying to have kids for many years and Somehow I had miscarriages and things didn't work out. Um, I'll not talk more about that now. If you want, there is a blog, Diary to My Kids, which you can go and have a look and you will know more about that story. But what was happening is in those periods, I my energies were very low with all the struggle that was happening uh, with my fertility treatment. And, you know, uh, it, it took a toll on... Uh, my emotional well-being and I went into depression and with that depression things started to hit me <coughs> and that is when 
one day I realized, you know, I need to do something about my life. I need to bring back that energy into my life. But I didn't know how. So uh, the office I used to work, there was a creative team as well. They used to put a lot of apparel design things and all. So when I used to go to that floor, I would see um, all this creative work happening and I would want to stay there. And uh, one day I said, okay, I had been doing candle making and paper bags making for many years. Um, I had put up some of my candle exhibitions in the past. Uh, and I said, okay, people had been asking you, so when are you starting your own creative entrepreneurship something? I said, I don't know, I'm not sure about that. And that was the time when I saw the shift of energy from low to high every time I went up near something creative. I felt I need to do something. So I left my job. I left my full-time job. I just called my husband. I said, I have put my papers. I'm leaving the job and I'm going to do something creative. I'm not sure what. And for a minute he was shocked um, and he said, it's okay. When you create, he said the most beautiful thing, when you create outside, you create inside. And that something hit me and I said, okay, so it means I am probably going in the right direction. I started doing uh, paper mache things and things on my personal side were still not improving, but, you know, I was still creating. And then slowly I started, you know, I felt this urge of painting. I felt I'm, even if things are not happening in my life, I want to paint. I want to paint the life I want to see. Not really the painting, um, painting the imagery of my life, but, you know, painting through the imagery of my life, painting through my the story. Let the story, let my paintings be, uh, be through the story of my life. So I would write down words, I would write down affirmations, I would write down what I want in life, what is not right, everything I'll write down. And then I'll start painting on it. I'll start painting layer by layer, layer by layer till I started feeling better and as I painted there was, I saw a lot of transformation happening in my life I, f I felt much better I felt a lot of things started changing in my life um, whatever I felt was going wrong suddenly it started getting better and when it started getting better I, I started painting more just to experiment if this, this is what is happening and it started getting better and you know um, felt at one point of time you know I had this low energy and I need to do something to raise the energy of people around me if I can do that that's probably my purpose and path so I decided to do um, this affirmation workshop my initial plan was to do paint affirmations but when we went through this uh, exercise with Sharon Giles I feel this is exactly what I need to do. I need to share my story. I need to share what I have uh, gone through and how things have changed with, for me when I started painting. So this workshop came up and that's what this workshop is about. So Sharon Jones will be teaching us lots of techniques on the collage paper making and I'll be teaching uh, this <coughs> process of intuitive painting and painting through your own story. So that is what is going to happen in this workshop. Um, it's on 28th September happening in Irving, Texas. And if you're around, you may want to join us. Uh, it would be a good chance for me to catch up with you, to know a bit more about you. We all have some story in our life. And it's a great way to meet people it's, uh, and share our stories as we paint through it. Or even if you don't want to share it, just paint through it. See the transformation it can bring to you. We would be doing a two-page story writing um, of your life, which is how you want to see your life or what it life you, it can be. I've done this exercise with other people. And they the feedback has been enormous. The people have said that it really brought changes into their life when they wrote that story. Um, because once they wrote that story, they got a lot of clarity about what they need to do in life, 
what their real goals are, when we connect with our own soul, that's when the real wisdom happens. We sometimes feel this is what we need to do, that is what we need to do, but you know, only when we connect to our inner self, when we connect to our heart and soul, we get to know what we really want. And once we know what we really want, and put it down on paper, write it down, uh, put affirmations and actions around it, it just starts manifesting in your life. That's what I believe and that's what I have seen. So um, this is a workshop on a lot of affirmations, story writing, um, of course painting uh, and collage, uh, painting with collages. Um, so we'll be doing painting as well as collage making um, on the canvas. Um, so um, that's what we'll be doing. I'll just show you an example of what it would look like. Here is the recent painting I did. It looks more like a painting, right? So there, But there are, I think, few images of collage which have been covered now by the... Uh, with the paints, a layer of paints. We had, I did, I think, 15 or 16 layers of paint on that painting. And I'm going to do more, maybe. <clears throat> and uh, in the promotion link for Journey Into Your Heart, you'll see a painting which actually Sharon made when I walked her through the process. So um, it, it is not my own painting, uh, as you can see. So if, if you can believe that, uh, that when I'm walking somebody through that process, they can come up with such painting, everybody can. So uh, uh, that is the proof of what you can expect from that workshop. Um, so we'll be doing that. And then... Um, angels paint angels and guides uh, you're going to see the video again after this about the process of how uh, this is my starting point of autodidactic process and once I'm done with this um, imagery would usually um, emerge out of it example I'll show <coughs> here is one uh, it's a dog shape which emerged so I, I felt it was a dog, a dog guide and I started painting with it. It changed completely. The final guide remained to be a turtle. But there was um, a puppy being there and that's how the painting emerged. It's, it's on canvas. Um, I'll probably <coughs> attach a picture of... Or maybe not. Maybe I'll make another video of that. So that's what I did. This is another one I did finish just now as I was talking uh, um, before this video. And um, uh, this is like a bull, which I'm seeing here. I don't know if you can make out because I have not, uh, you know, covered the rest of the area. So it's still fresh like that. So that's what I've done. And this is the angel's painting, which was there. So you can see there was a lot of imagery in there. And then I started working with this part. And I evolved it into a full painting with Gift of Angels, which you're going to see soon um, after this video, um, after this talk. <clears throat> so if you're in the area, do join us for one of the workshops on the intuitive painting. If you like my work, um, you will love the process of this painting as well. Um, and um, uh, the links will be posted below. So go and check those pages and see the workshop details in there these are introductory prices i've put them on um, because that's happening in my own area and uh, i'll be doing more of this around the places but right now these are the int this is the first introductory workshop i'm doing um i mean first full-blown workshop i'm doing with introductory prices so do go and check it out and if you can make it to one of my workshops, I'll be glad to have you there and we can share some stories about your life. Thank you. Bye.